Now to the Middle East, where mounting tensions are causing concerns in Metro Detroit. Among the latest developments, a ground incursion into Lebanon against Hezbollah left eight Israeli soldiers dead. And it comes a day after Iran attacked Israel with ballistic missiles. Here at home tonight, a rally in Dearborn is calling for an end to violence. 7 News Detroit reporter Ruta Olsenaida is raising the voices of those who fear for their loved ones in harm's way. Yet another rally in Dearborn Wednesday night in support of the Lebanese people as this community comes together and demands a ceasefire. Ceasefire now! Ceasefire now! In front of the Dearborn police station Wednesday, a rally in support of Lebanon. Families and Dearborn residents like Hayat Jafar holding the photos of their loved ones killed in the conflict. She had tears rolling down her cheeks the entirety of the rally as she remembered her daughter killed. We spoke with the help of a translator. She had actually left the village to go to somewhere else to find safety. She came back just to get some um, clothes. And when she, had, when she got back to her village, um, she was the victim and killed by a strike. More than 150 families, American families from Dearborn, are still in Lebanon now. U.S. citizen from Dearborn, community leader and businessman Kamal Jawad also lost his life just days ago. We spoke to his cousin Tuesday about why he was in Lebanon instead of the U.S. He was helping people uh, locate shelter. He would take them down to Beirut or to the north. He was uh, tra help transporting people down. <laughs> Despite the pleas here locally, the conflict only seems to be escalating overseas. Israel has begun its targeted ground invasion into Lebanon against Hezbollah, and Iran launched nearly 200 missiles into Israel Tuesday. Most of the missiles were intercepted and no deaths were reported. Benjamin Levine owns a travel company that hosts Americans in Israel, many of them from Michigan. He had to hide in a bomb shelter Tuesday and, like many, hopes for peace. And I have good Muslim friends. Like, I, I just don't understand why we need... Uh, to have that type of a battle, we need to reach out and look for peace. It's really sad that us as Americans have to put up with this and we have to see innocent lives being taken and we have no voice. And this Dearborn community tells me they will continue to rally, they will continue to protest until the conflict ends and peace is spread across the region. In Dearborn, I'm Rudolph Sinaida, 7 News, Detroit.